Okay, so I'm with uh, Patrick Schiffers, who's the um, Chief Executive Officer, CEO of Simvina, which is the joint venture between uh, Avantium and BASF, BASF being slightly the senior partner. Um, I think this technology is the, is the hot topic, PEF, at this conference. When did, uh, when did it first start to be developed? I think uh, this goes back uh, to the 50s, actually mm -hmm. 1950, uh, when the FTCA molecule was, was discovered. Um, uh, however, and I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, was SIBA. Uh, however, uh, the, the problem with FTCA so far has been it's a great platform molecule. Uh, for, for example, develop, uh, developing uh, PF. However, what has not been found so far is a technology to produce it uh, in an economical way. Ah, so that was that's what's held it up. It was getting it cost-effectively to the market. They uh, in Avantium also, uh, when they developed the technology, they used to call it the sleeping giant. <laughs> uh, and why? Where did this come from? They said the potential is like a giant. Sure. What you have behind sleeping is because nobody has managed to to wake the molecule up, make it, bring it, uh, uh, make it alive, uh, basically, and produce it in an economical way. In lay terms, can you just explain how that has been achieved? Um, you have seen uh, today uh, two presentations here at uh, Euro, at the Bioplastics uh, Europe. There are several processes uh, that uh, different companies um, are looking into. I think we are currently uh, the most advanced, um, and uh, we go from from uh, grains, from from wheat or from corn. Uh, through a, a sugar dehydration into oxidation and purification and have polymer grade uh, FDCA which is then polymerized in uh, in the uh, standard PET uh, now it it directly takes on bio PET which represents over a quarter of the whole bio based market so this is obviously going to be very big business indeed will it will in fact it it replace bio PET in time Basically, we see we see such a strong. I mean, uh, what is so special about PF is really the functionality. So you've seen the the barriers that it has uh, mm. for for the gas barriers, the water barriers. So it's not a drop in for PET. So you have a bio PET, which basically replaces PET with the same yep. uh, functionalities, but uh, with PEF you have a different functionality. So you so we aim at uh, really high barrier markets and the growth the growth in these markets is so big that actually you can participate at growth uh, uh, in order to position your your uh, your product if it does a better job than bio pet why bother with bio pet no i said you could yeah uh, from from um, uh, from growth but in the end uh, bio B, i th i think uh, of course, we could replace bio PET. Yeah, it's a question in the end in how you uh, position your uh, product in terms of pricing. Uh, but with these properties, you definitely go to the high value market for drinks like juices, sport drinks, energy drinks, um, uh, because there you can take advantage of the of the properties. It's known that Coca-Cola is looking at PEF as an alternative to uh, it, it, its bio PET. Are they working with you? Um, we we do normally not comment uh, on all our relationships, uh, but uh, you know that Coca-Cola was uh, an investor in Avantium uh, before, so of course we talk to all uh, big brand owners, but not uh, limited to I was going to say, there must be others as well. There are others here, uh, yeah. you've seen at this conference, who have very good ideas about how to uh, bring and launch PEF in, in some uh, markets, test markets, where the properties are really making a lot of sense, like for example in very hot countries countries with, with long logistic chains uh, where you really can take advantage of three or four times a longer shelf life. I hope this isn't a naive question, but is it just um, targeted at rigid plastic applications or can it be for flexibles too? For both. It can. Uh, because, for example, yesterday Marks & Spencer's, uh, the UK-based retailer, uh, talked about um, its aim to have a, a one polymer solution. We are working with Marks & Spencer. Are you? So PEF could be the answer here. Um, Definitely. Okay. Uh, it, 
as an alternative to bio PET, can it go through the same recycling stream as, as PET? Um, it can go through the same recycling stream. I mean, um, you might have seen there is an EPBP, that's a European organization. They have given us an interim approval that with our first 50,000 tons that we're going to produce in Europe, we can go in the regular PET stream. We have tested this. This is uh, a difference to other companies who uh, introduced this, but we indeed uh, got the approval for that. This was also published. Uh, so this means up to a percentage of 2% in the current PET stream, uh, the PEF does not uh, impact the PET quality, uh, color or whatever, there's no haze. Um, but uh, to be honest, in the, in the medium uh, uh, time, we, uh, in the medium uh, term, uh, we're looking for a dedicated PF uh, recycling stream because, of course, these uh, uh, better properties, sure. uh, you will keep them also in the recycled materials. Material, why give away uh, uh, this value? And of course, if it is the magic single polymer, then it's going to solve a lot of problems in the recycling infrastructure anyway. Um, when, you, when does it come onto the market? When are you hoping to, to actually have... Um, it's always amazing, you know, I'm, I'm uh, actually, my background, I'm coming from BASF and I think what makes Sinvina, uh, what, 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 what we think will make Sinvina successful is we have a technology company with Avancium who provide the technology, but we know how to build a big plant. Sure. And I'm amazed when sometimes I talk to brand owners who are here and they believe that in two years you suddenly have a huge volume polymer available. Um, you need to finalize the process technology you need to do the detail engineering, you need to build a plant. That simply takes time. So that sometimes when I see uh, on such conferences timelines, it's uh, wishful thinking. We have currently, from where we are, we have the target to be 2021 uh, in the market with uh, commercial volumes. Fine. I'm going to ask you one more question, which I'm sure you're not going to answer, but how much have you invested in this so far? Um, uh, we cannot comment okay. on this. All right, okay. Patrick, thank you very much indeed. Thank Thanks you. a lot.